I'm John Roundtree. I'm one of the photography instructors at McDowell Technical Community College in Marion. I live in Black Mountain and uh, I'm one of the teachers for the degree program at McDowell Tech. We offer a complete program in photography that uh, is a two-year program that has a lot of different facets of photography represented in our, in our program. We're actually into uh, about our 20th, we're past our 20th year in the program. So we've been in existence for quite a long time. And it's a program that's designed to give students who are interested in photography uh, a lot of different experiences in some of the different realms of photography. For instance, we offer uh, classes in photojournalism, we offer class, separate classes in portraiture, we offer separate classes in studio lighting. Uh, so. When students come into our program, they get a very, very broad uh, sampling of some of the career avenues that they can pursue if they wish to continue making photography their career. We do both black and white and color in our program, and we always have. Uh, when our program started, and up until about four years ago, we relied solely on wet darkroom techniques for both black and white and color. However, uh, about three years ago, we stopped using wet darkroom techniques for color and went exclusively digital. This year, in fact, with the beginning of the semester in this September, uh, we have gone completely away from wet darkroom photography and now are a totally digital program. And when you see the black and white and the color photographs, it's uh, uh, a result of what has happened in the digital world, really. As more and more film becomes unavailable or other chemicals become unavailable, color has been dominated by digital for several years now for a lot of reasons, not the least of which is that with the old wet darkroom techniques in color, you were never able to produce a permanent archival print. In other words, over time, it would fade. And you can see that yourself just by looking at old photo albums. Black and white prints, on the other hand, have taken the inkjet world a lot longer to get correct. But finally, they have uh, figured out the technology to make the black and white prints look really nice. So especially since we have switched over to an all digital program we want to give our students the opportunity to work in both realms and the honest truth is that most of the commercial money in photography is going to be done in color so we feel that it's important that our students have a strong background in color at the same time a lot of art photography is still the province of black and white and one of the things that we have always prided ourselves in this department is that while we are very goal and career oriented in what we teach, we still have a very, fine, a very strong fine art component as part of our curriculum. And so we continue with black and white as well as the color. Pieces that are in the show here at City Hall are the result of a summer program called Portfolio Development, where students in both first year and second year of the program 
work to put together a very strong portfolio since a portfolio is the most important piece that a photographer has to showcase their work and hopefully get some employment. The pieces here have all been done by students who have graduated now from the program. This was their final project. They had a choice of a number of, of subjects that they could pursue related to what they wanted to do once they graduated from the program. So we have a variety of photographs here from students who are looking to go into photojournalism. We have landscape photographs, portraits, and uh, just a, a broad range that reflects the interests of our graduates through the program.